Hi, I'm Margaret Dillaway. I'm the author of How to Be an American Housewife, out now from Putnam Books. This is my daughter, who is in seventh grade. Her name is Elise. And we thought we would try doing a mother-daughter type of vlog, and she says she really wants to do it. And we didn't really plan on what we are going to talk about, so let's just start talking about stuff that comes to mind. If you could visit anywhere in the world, where would you visit? I'd probably visit someplace in Europe, like Italy or Greece. Or I would visit India or Japan because I'm Japanese and I think Japan is cool. Cause You're of... Japanese? <laughs> and then, because <laughs> um, I might want to visit India because I read a lot of books about it. I think it's kind of cool, the culture. And um, I, won't, I might want to visit Italy because my dad went there like before college or something. I think that Italy is cool because of the food and the culture, I guess. What about me? I went to Italy. I studied abroad in Italy. For like a whole semester, I was in Italy living there, studying art. I went there too. I would love to take you to Italy, so maybe I should set a book in Italy and then we can go there and like have it be tax deductible. Okay. <laughs> in Japan. What do you want to do in Japan? I don't know, like eat, I guess. Because <laughs> I like to try new foods because I like the how things taste, like if they're sweet or salty or bitter or something. So I like to taste foods and I like to feel different textures of foods. Have you had any Japanese food that you don't like? Um, yeah, octopus. Oh. It just freaks me out because sometimes <laughs> the tentacles are still moving and I'm always afraid that it'll get stuck in your throat. But I like freeze-dried squid but not octopus legs. So rume? Yeah. They give that out for Halloween in Hawaii. Yeah. Ethan, her brother, loves octopus sashimi, the raw octopus. He loves it. Ugh. <laughs> so do you think you want to visit any family in Japan? Um, maybe your family, because you told me I have some cousins there. I have tons and tons of cousins there. And I could practice the Japanese that I know. Okay, say something in Japanese. Um. <laughs> Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. <laughs> that means good afternoon. And then konbanwa means good evening. And mm -hmm. then ohayou gozaimasu means, um, Good morning. And then my friend Lydia, who's in Hawaii, she made up something. And it's like Ohio design moss. Because it was during lunch. She just randomly said that because Lydia is really random and it's funny. And it was based off of Ohio design moss. So, yeah. Yeah. They take uh, they took Japanese in Hawaii. And I was hoping that she will learn how to yeah. read really well. So when we go to Japan, she can... I everything. was going to learn katakana, but then we left before we could start learning because we were doing a review. Oh. Well, we could different. learn katakana here. Katakana is not very hard. Yeah. Because you learn I was thinking about kanji. In sixth grade, and then you learn katakana in seventh grade, and then kanji in eighth grade. Yeah. Kanji is the most difficult. When I took Japanese, which was one semester in college, mm -hmm. where we learned hiragata and katakana and a little bit of kanji, kanji was the most difficult for me. Because mm -hmm. some of them look the same. Mm -hmm. The characters, yeah. Yeah, there's, there are many of them. Yeah, I know. But I always found katakana to be easy because it's just foreign words. If you like, sound it out, you know what it is. Yeah, I know because it sounds the same. Okay. Well, there is our first mother daughter vlog. I hope you'll tune in again. Uh, maybe I'll let Elise read my book for next time. Even though I was thinking maybe the subject matter was too mature for her, but her friend read it and uh, wasn't scarred or anything, apparently. So Elise thinks she's mature enough to read it. Do you think you're mature enough? Yes. <laughs> what are you not mature enough to do? I'm not mature enough to move out or get a job or drive a car or go to college or 
watch inappropriate shows, apparently. <laughs> okay, then. All right. So maybe we'll talk about my books next time. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Bye-bye.